Congratulations on matching to either UNMC or Creighton. My name is Ryan Renner and I'm a real estate agent here in Omaha, Nebraska. So today is Monday, March 20th, 2023. So you may have matched to uh, UNMC or Creighton on St. Patrick's Day. And so congratulations to you. I wanted to make this quick video to kind of give you a lay of the land. If you are thinking about buying a home between now and when you start. So a little bit about myself. I've helped four to five uh, residents and fellows each year for the past several years when buying homes. So I know exactly what you're going through. I know the timelines you're on. I know the stress you're under. So uh, I'm able to help you be a resource for you and guide you throughout the process because I've done it a bunch before. So the first thing you probably should know about if you are thinking about buying a home is getting pre-approved. I create a website called omahaphysicianloan.com and that's got some resources of lenders locally that have physician loan programs. Now those programs will lend you up to 100% of the purchase price for a home. Now you do have to cover some closing costs, so you you will have to bring some money to the table, but it's one of the best programs out there if you are a physician and you're just sort of getting started in your career, getting started with residency, fellowship, et cetera. What I have seen is uh, if you want to get approved, you're probably looking around 250000 as the purchase price. Now that's going to vary a little bit if you have money that you can put down, uh, more money that you can put down, you can afford a slightly higher priced home. But just in general, think that you can spend around 250000 in Omaha and the surrounding areas, 250,000 is going to be a very competitive price point. What that means is homes are going to go above asking price. There are going to be multiple offers and often you are going to have to waive a home inspection. Now, this is not ideal. I wish this wasn't the case, but I want to let you know that to set expectations properly. So if your, your limit is 250,000, you really should be looking at homes that are 225, to 35. If you're looking at homes that are 250,000, there's a very good chance that those are going to go above that asking price. And if your limit is 250, you're not going to be able to afford that. Like I said earlier, I've worked with a lot of residents, so I know that your timeline is uh, pretty strict. You have to be here and starting July 1st, if not maybe before for some type of orientation. Now, if you want to be in a home, before July 1st, uh, you need to be starting the process, you know, the beginning of May, if not earlier. So what I tell people is once you get a home under contract, it's going to take anywhere from 30 to 45 days. Generally, it's probably going to be about 40 to 45 days. So if you want to close on a home June 15th, then you need to be under contract May 1st. Uh, you also need to be aware that you're not going to be able to close on a home until if you're using the physician loan program, you're not going to be able to close on that home until 60 days in advance of when the program starts. So in essence, you could get under contract right now and be okay. But just so you're aware, there's a 60 day timeline where you can't go and buy a home. You can get under contract. You just can't close on it 60 days in advance of the program starting. I also know that you are still in medical school. So there is a good chance that one, you've actually never been to Omaha or maybe you've been once and there's a chance you may only be able to visit one more time to look at homes or maybe not even visit at all. So I'm aware of those constraints. Oftentimes what I tell people is if you are going to visit Omaha to look at homes first, visit on like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's when most of the homes are going to get listed. So if you come and visit on like a Monday or Tuesday, there's a good chance that all the homes that you saw the week before that you were interested in have already sold. So there really aren't many homes to look at if you're visiting at the beginning of the week. If you visit towards the end, the end of the week, the homes that were listed Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there's a good chance those are still on the market. We can look at them and potentially make an offer. The other thing you need to know is if you visit for a couple days, 
there's a very good chance that you're going to make an offer or two on homes that you find that you like, and you may not uh, get them. You may not win. So just be prepared that you may have to leave Omaha without having a home under contract. When I worked with the residents last last year, I think everybody but like one, so like 80% of the people that bought homes with me last year, they never set foot in the house before they made an offer. They set foot in the house either um, at closing day, like the final walkthrough right before we closed, or after it completely closed. So what I will do is if you see a home you like, I take a video tour of it and I send it to you. We talk about it. I will narrate the tour. I'll let you know if I see anything that is suspicious, that um, concerns me. I'll let you know if anything smells weird. Uh, um, I, I'm your eyes and ears on the ground. So if I don't feel comfortable with a home, uh, I'm going to tell you because the last thing I want is for you to, you know, buy a home, get under contract. And then on the final walkthrough, you're like, uh, this is not what I was expecting. The great thing about technology is the videos are really high quality. So you will get a pretty good idea of what the home is like. Obviously it's not perfect. I wish it wasn't the case, but you're under constraints. This market is crazy. It's just how things are right now. And one of the benefits of you possibly visiting Omaha um, in advance, maybe within the next couple of weeks, is I'll be able to get a better idea of what you're looking for. And so when you leave and maybe don't have a home under contract, I will have a better idea of what you're wanting. And the nice thing about technology is we can do all of this digitally. So we can write an offer and we can sign an offer digitally. You do not need to be in Omaha. You don't even have to be in Omaha to close on the home. Everything can be done uh, without you ever setting foot in Omaha, setting foot in the home. If you have any questions, if you are thinking about buying a home, even if you're, you're kind of on the edge, please reach out to me. I'm here to answer any questions you have. Like I've said, I've helped many people in your situation navigate this process. Uh, look forward to possibly helping you as well. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to Omaha.